Hello everybody and today I will be sharing with you three quick and simple lighting tips. Alright, hello everybody. So today I will be talking about three very basic and simple tips for lighting your subject. Now all these three tips have something to do with the placement of your light source, aka the direction that your light is coming from. Now to illustrate this, I'm using a off-camera wireless flash. Now of course to apply these techniques, you don't have to only use them on artificial lighting. You can also apply these tips on natural lighting such as the sun or a window, for example. Now, obviously you can't move your window around, but you can change the placement of your camera and your subject. So without further ado, I will dig into the first tip. And the very first tip is to simply not to light directly from the front, which is in the same direction that your camera is from. So for example, if I light my subject, which is this little lens over here, from the front, this is what the subject would look like. So as you can see, the light is very flat and it looks horrible and the way the subject just looks with that light is very unappealing. So don't light from the front, it makes the subject look flat and not three-dimensional. The quality of light is generally unflattering and you will also get shadows directly behind that subject. So moving on to tip number two, which is to light from the side to create a dramatic effect. Now, the more off axis you go, that's the more further off to the side your light source is, the more dramatic your subject will look. So for example here, I will light my subject again from approximately 45 degrees off axis. And as you can see, this definitely looks much better than lighting it straight on from the front. But if I were to move my light source even more off axis, this time I'll make it 90 degrees off axis, which is directly to the side of the subject and adjacent to my camera. And if I take a picture, you can see it has a very strong lighting ratio. So one side of the subject is very dark, one side of the subject is very bright, and it creates a very dramatic effect. Now the final tip is to light from behind the subject. Now what this does is it essentially gives a highlight around the edges of your subject. So this will help to isolate your subject from the background. So this will add more contrast to your subject. So let's try it out and see what it looks like. So you can see the light source in the frame, but however, you can see that nice highlight around the edges of your subject. Now in a lighting setup, this is typically called a backlight. Now this backlight is to be used in conjunction with your main light source, aka the key light and also your fill light source. So adding a backlight will add more contrast to your subject, isolating it from the background. All right, so that's pretty much it for today, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can pop over to my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Productions, and you can also follow me on Instagram. So that's it for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.